I'm pretty much on a mission. I am on a mission to catch a big bass tomorrow morning. And I got just the bait to do it. You guys understand? You understand this bait now? <laughs> Inject a tail, take tail out, put in there, and pour, open pour, the rest of your bait. If that ain't spiffy, I don't know what's spiffy. That way you're not just getting colors just in lines down the bait. You got a tail that's a completely different color. And for the first time, I'm gonna try to laminate this tail, just the tail, with the injector. I haven't tried that yet, but I wanted to save that for the video. Let's see what it looks like when you shoot this tail with two colors. And yeah, this is an Epic Bait Mold collaboration between me and Epic Bait Molds. You guys probably know that by now. Gonna be making tons of these. So the pump on my vacuum chamber broke, which is really annoying because I'm probably gonna have bubbly plastics because of that. I guarantee you I will have bubbly plastics. But let's inject this tail with two different colors right here. Never done this before. I want the bottom to be that a bluish color and the top to be dark. I'll show you in a sec instead of just try to explain it to you with words. There's the bluish. It's got some turquoise flake and a, uh, I guess a really light blue highlight. And then there's just a, it's called mine dust. It's a good name for that color. That's, that's what that looks like, mine dust. <clears throat> thought of something to say. This pond that we're going to, the foraging fish, or the fish that all the bass feed on, is green sunfish. That's, at least that's what we were catching mostly for a bait fish, green sunfish. Kind of what I'm going for here. Greenish, maybe a little bit of yellows. Uh, I need a picture. So yeah. There's the blue though. Notice the blue on the face and it's kind of in the body as well. I want one, at least one really good green sunfish out of this. What's this tail gonna look like? Nice. Do you see how it's dark on the top, light on the bottom? That's pretty spiffy. Look at that, fellas. Now you got your tail. You just lay it back in the mold. Probably gonna add a cut to this because this is taking me longer than a normal person. Bob Saget. So that didn't take me any longer than it would a normal person to put in the mold. And now you just close it up. Secure your cling nuts. And it's time to get this thing hot. Hot. You guys are sitting on the hot plate right now. Let's get you off of that because it's about to get hot. Uh, I forgot how to make this level. One sec. Yeah, we're... We're way off. The trick is to put a four in the hand under your hot plate there. Okay, that's not bad. Plug it in and crank it up all the way. Get your mold hot. There's a plan of action, fellas. Let's, let's go over it. This is that blue color for the tail that we did. I'm gonna pour this first right in the belly. And then I'm gonna do, uh, never mind. I just thought of something brilliant. One sec. The green sunfish has that yellow in the belly. It's not like white belly, yellow line, some other color. Like we need to get our soldering iron out. And we need to put the yellow on there with the soldering iron. And dude, they, they might have bars too. I need my picture. Yeah, the really interesting ones have bars and they don't really have a white belly. Let's go for this right here with some blue highlights. Really, I should have made the tail dark and then that color, like an orangish yellow, but not every fish is the same. Ooh, gold. A little bit of gold highlight in yellow. No need to be shy here, folks. And now we gotta do them bars. It's, it's uh, pretty much black. There's a little bit of silveriness to it, but it's pretty much just black. Let's get some bars on here. These are very barry bars, just straight up and down. I'm not even showing you guys. Wow. <laughs> you guys missed all of that. Okay, all the artsy fartsy stuff's done. Just have to put the tail back in, put the hook slot back in, close up the mold, get it hot. Then we can start pouring. Here's a last look though at what, I put some black on the eyeball. That'll make the eye pop a little more. Got the yellow on the belly and then the bars across all of it. I forgot to put the hook slot in. Shame on me. Nothing worse than forgetting to put the hook slot in pouring your bait. You got nowhere to put your hook and a weird little flap on the belly. 
Don't you hate that? Okay, folks, you might not be able to notice how this has some pearl white in it. Because I, here. Because I dumped a ton of orange glitter into it. Because I thought that would look cool. Not realistic, just cool. So that's what I did and that's what we're going with now. I like orange glitter. This will look fine. Ah, oh, this plastic's bubbly, but my pump's broke. Dang it. Ah, oh, that's a bad feeling pouring bubbly plastic into the something you're working really hard on and putting a lot of time into. Feels bad, man. Next color. I know, random change of clothes. Long story, but I'm back, I'm here. We're still working on this bait. And this is my green. Once again, incorrect camera angle. You guys see that green? That's a green. That's an interesting green. It's dark, but the highlights are heavy in this green and it makes it look light. Okay, enough showing you the green. Let's get this hot enough and pour it. Starting in the tail back here, I want really good bondage to the tail. Oh, I'm being messy. Oh, the bubbles look awful. I'm gonna hit it with the torch just to get rid of some of the bubbles. I know this video got weirdly loud just now, but sorry, my AC is running. It's really hot in here. I'm gonna let this vibe out for probably a half hour on this heat and then shut it all off and hope that we don't have any cold cracking and it looks like a perfect nice little bait. Let us finally have a peeky poo at the finished bait. It's over an hour later. It takes a while for these to cool down. That doesn't look anything like a green sunfish. And I really messed up the tail because I overheated the mold. I guess I'll show you guys. It's like a bluegill with a messed up tail on the back. Let me, uh, let me try my hand at some more of these and see if we can get better results than this. I'm gonna chuck this one tomorrow and probably catch fish, but we can do better than this. Okay, folks, you know that bait we just made? I went out fishing, and within the first, I don't know, a dozen casts, once again, of using that bait, a fish ripped the tail off and it became completely useless. I needed more, so I made a lot more. Well, I made two more. We're going to a different spot. Backwaters on the river. I'm looking for pike, potentially musky. And I have a kayak, I'll show you once we get there. I'll show you the baits in my kayak and stuff now, once we get there, let's go. Oh, it's up by the that thing? Holder. That's a whale. Okay, I promised you guys I would show you my kayak. Or I didn't promise, I just said I would, but this one's mine. Lifetime, not sponsored. Go ahead and sponsor me if you want, Lifetime. Nate's got a sun dolphin? Yeah. Sun dolphin. SS minnow. SS minnow. Let's get in the water. Yeah, it's gonna get weird. Let's go. Oh, mudding with the kayak. I'm gonna just throw it off this cliff oh. and then jump in. Oh. Watch and learn, Nate. Oh. I'm in a little boat. It's not too windy back here. I really need a, they make GoPro mounts for your hat. That'd be. Are you sure? You don't know. I've never seen it. Might be really good. Instead of a shot of my crotch, it can be a shot of me catching a fish, you know? All right, guys. I know I didn't make very many of these, but I'll probably be back in the shop and make more of these later, but I just really wanted to fish with them right now. And there's no way to show you guys the action of this bait from a kayak, so darn. Oh! Oh! Dude, if I get a 40 inch pike, I'm going for a ride. Oh! I'm getting nibbles, fellas. I think they want it fast. Oh, there it is. A healthy river bass. Very healthy. 
healthy enough to get this treble hook right in my thumb. Yep, that's what you're gonna try to do, isn't it? Yep, not today. That's not bad. Not bad at all. It's official. River bass, like the ribbon tail, open pour, and injection swim bait. I don't have a name for it yet, as is tradition. Be free. I was moving it, like fast. It was a reaction strike for sure. And got him by the treble hook and that's it. Thank goodness I put that treble hook on that beast hook because I would not have caught that fish. Let's get more. Yeah, they're thick in here. Thick carp. <laughs> yeah, right when it hit the water. I think this is a pike. Yeah, it's a better fish. Whatever it is. What is this? Please be a musky. Oh, that's a big bass, Nate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I barely have him hooked. Come here. Woo! Wow. That's a river bass. Wow. Look at this bass. You want a with yeah. I'm going to weigh him first. This thing is about to pee in my beer, but I don't care. Dang it. It's 3.58. That's still an amazing fish. Yeah, for the river here. I don't need a picture. I got it on camera. Okay. All right. It's official. Big old bass. Like this bait. I'm just really happy. It's hard for me to talk right now. Sorry, guys. Let's set them free. There he goes. All right, I need to get the shakes off. Get back to fishing. Fish seem bigger in a kayak. I'm like, Nate! <laughs> Nate, it's a big one! Oh! Yeah, yeah, bump, 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 bump. You're just not fishing right, Nate. <laughs> oh, that was a pike, dang it. It was a tiny pike though. It's a good bait. And there's a lot you can do with it for making it pretty with the, with the tail combo. Oh, don't worry, fellas. I am capable of making a much prettier bait than that first one. Let's do that real quick. Let's try to fulfill the potential that this mold holds and make a pretty bait. Now this should look a bit better than that first one. Oh, almost forgot the hook slot again. Wow, 
secure your wing nuts. First pour right here. Just going with a pearly white with a little bit of violet highlight in it. Then we're gonna go with that same green for the rest of it. I actually added a little bit of blue and black flake to it, but you know, details, whatever. Boom. Emerald over here. That might be a very beautiful bait. I'll get back to you when it's ready for demold. It's time for demold. It's an hour later. You usually find yourself doing something else. And it usually takes an hour. And then you come back and demold. It's just the way it goes. There's a tiny bit of cold cracking. But I do like this a lot better. That line across the body. It's a little harsh, not realistic, but I like how the blue shows up and the green up here. And the yellow, the yellow in person, I can tell in the viewfinder on the camera, the yellow shows up a lot more in person. That is better, much better. Oh, less cold cracking on this side. Perfect. Yep, I needed some thumbnail material and I think I just made it, so. Let's get some eyes glued on. Yeah, I just needed some redemption there. That's a good looking bait. That's going in my tackle box. Uh, uh, 140 for that sophisticated of a mold. Injection and open pour. Many color scheme possibilities. Fun little mold. Go have fun guys, get yourself a mold. Epicbaitmolds.com, link below. Thank you once again, Jason and Amanda. It's just a freaking pleasure making these with you guys. On to the next bait. Watch and learn, Nate. Oh, look at this bass. Oh, there it is. Bump, 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 bump. Oh. I'm getting nibbles, fellas. <laughs> yeah. You're just not fishing right, Nate.